I don't know if the chart is accurate or just a dream construct, but it doesn't look good. That line should be pointing up. Not that machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life-saving narcotics. If I'm ever going to find a way out of this place, that's my doorway. Me. I tried reading my own mind once. The feedback loop was nasty. I kept bouncing around my own head like... like a reflection in a hall of mirrors. The... I don't know what you call it. The signal from my comatose brain. It's too weak. It's getting drowned out by my waking thoughts. To tap into my subconscious, I'd have to somehow boost the signal and turn down the volume on my conscious mind. That's not doing anything at all, except maybe giving me hot flashes. I'm in a coma. I don't think I can get any slower. The next step down is stop, and stop is... no, bad. Me. My body. That's the only connection between story time and... and home. beautiful, but also so desolate and cold, like a fairy tale of the dead. Story time. The place where all stories begin and end, including mine. Da-da-da-da. I don't know why they brought him to the hospital, but I'm glad they did. I know they mean well, but my hospital room is beginning to look like a memorial. Take a skateboard to that line, you'd build up a lot of speed. I tried reading my own mind one the I don't know what you to tap it This is probably a terrible idea but if I can adjust the mixture of drugs going into my veins I might be able to give my brain a chemical jolt, boost the subconscious signal. Don't know if it will work or just kill me, but beggars, choosers. Thing is, I can't push any buttons from in here. That machine is out there, in the physical world. I don't think my dreaming powers extend that far unless... unless I can somehow affect the state of things that are mirrored in here. Thing doesn't have any conscious thoughts. No light source there. So, if I slow these readings down, the system should compensate by adjusting the drug dosage, jolting my system, hopefully waking me up, possibly killing me. Well, fingers properly crossed. Oh, bollocks, the machine's going nuts. Oh, I feel really weird. The machine's gone haywire. It's pumping a crazy amount of drugs into my body. 
I just wanted a little pick-me-upper, not an actual OD. So, okay. The cocktail of industrial strength chemicals the machine has injected into my body is boosting the subconscious signal. But now... Oh, it's too fast. Too jarring, like... Like a train of thought going at the speed of light. I can't get a good grip on it. Where do you think you're going? You're staying here with me, doing the only thing we're good at. Being dead. I'm not letting her stand. Just get the fuck away from me. See? This is why you're stuck. You can't even look at yourself in the mirror because you're ashamed of what you'll see. You're ashamed of me. No, you're not leaving, and you're not leaving me behind. I've made up my mind. I'm going home. Your father lied to you. Your mother tried to kill you. You put your friends in danger, and you lost every single one of them. That sounds like the perfect home to return to. It's not all gone. There's a chance I can rebuild. I can start afresh, make the right choices. Look, dearest, despite what the movies tell us, there's no such thing as a fresh start. We're all irreversibly anchored to the past. I'm not anchored to you. I can change. No one ever changes. Oh, we think we do. We pretend to learn and grow, but we're still the same children we always were. And when push comes to shove, our true selves always come back. Why do you think I'm here? I am you. You are me. The sooner you admit that, the sooner we can end this fucking charade. Roll credits. No, you're not leaving, and you're not leaving me behind. Is that... who are you? You don't remember who you are. Or who you were before you started playing hero, dreamer, savior of worlds. Everything about you is a lie. I'm the fucking truth. You can't escape that. Focus, Zoe. I need to be in that body. And I need to stop sounding like a pervert. Too much of a good thing isn't necessarily a better thing. No, you're not leaving. Right. Maybe you're right. That's it? You're even sadder than I thought. You can't even stand up for yourself. Well, bugger off back to your little bubble, bitch. You can hide there until our body withers to dust, and then we can watch the universe burn. Which, by the look of things, won't be too long now. No, you're not made up. I'm going home. Your father lied to you. Your mother tried to kill you. You put your friends in danger and you lost every single one of them. That sounds like the perfect home to return to. So it's not perfect. Maybe she's right. Maybe she's not. We don't have a home to go back to. We've lost everything. Maybe she I'm going to find out for certain. I'm ready to embrace who I was. Who I am. Who I will be. And... and who is that? I used to know... I don't know yet. You're a part of me now. You always will be. Come on. Life's waiting out there. Let's find out what's happening.
My name is Zoe Castillo. And I'm alive. Good evening, Warden. How do your prisoners fare? Commander, all is well. If you'd like, I could show I'm you... I'm not here to inspect your prison, Warden. I'm here to speak about one prisoner. Ah, oh, your apostle. Alvane. He's an apostle no more. He was a tool, but he lost his edge. He's no longer of any use to us. No. It's time we put all of this behind us. Would you care to translate, Commander? I'm afraid my ability to read between the lines is somewhat lacking. We want Kian Alvane's execution to be... hastened. I see. I, I thought your six would need to judge and condemn Alvane before... When did you become an expert on Azadi law, Warden? Well, I'm not, sir, but... We have laws and regulations of our own, Commander. I was told that Kian Alvani would be sent to Sadir to and stand... I am telling you to carry out his sentence. Tonight! What? Uh, uh, impossible. Uh, I, I need to call in the executioner... How and, soon? Well, by first light, at the earliest, but still... First light, then. But what about the paperwork? I mean, the proper documents, signed and stamped. This goes one of two ways, Warden. Either you do what you're told, and execute Kian Alvani by first light. Or you find yourself hanging right next to him when the sun kisses the top of Friar's Keep tomorrow morning. How it plays out is entirely up to you. You have your orders, Warden. I have only one memory of my mother. She held me close one night and sang an old song from her country. I don't remember the melody, but I remember the words. Sleep, child, sleep. Sleep in your mother's heart. Let the wind blow and the rain fall. Hear the executioner's call. Watch the traitor's head roll as the shadow takes his soul. Sleep, child, sleep. We shall never part. For we will soon be free together forever in the cold, cold sea. Ah, oh, Alvani, you are here. Good. I hear you uh, turned down your last meal. Hmm, pity. I personally approved the menu. There were uh, <clears throat> sausages. Hmm, quite. You were always a man of few words, Alvani. A rational pragmatist to the end. I approve. As you know, your execution will take place at dawn. I have to admit that I'm, I'm curious why, after so long, there's such a sudden rush to see you dead. I'm very curious. But uh, <clears throat> that's not why I'm here, no. As you also know, you have the choice between hanging and beheading. As far as I can tell, you have yet to um, voice a preference. If you forfeit this choice, it'll be left to me to decide the uh, <coughs> instrument of death. 
I simply want to ensure we've dotted every I and crossed every T. Death is death, and I'm ready to embrace my own. I have nothing more to say to this man. A warrior deserves to die by the blade. But do I deserve that death? I laid down my own sword. I turned on my own people. A warrior deserves to die by the blade. Even though I'm just a prisoner now, I was a warrior. De Quite. Then I shall make that choice. <clears throat> Do you have no family, Elvani? My family is very important to me. Almost as important as my duty to this city and this office. In the event of my own death, it would pain me to know that they would be left with no answers. No body to bury. No closure. I, I know you're a man of faith, a man of principle. I also understand that things happen to hmm, make you question your calling. What I do not understand is why you've um, <clears throat> simply decided to give up. To, hmm, to stop fighting. I have nothing more to say to him. To have everything you believe in fall to pieces. To be asked to continue a war that you have no faith in. By commanders that you can no longer trust. I have no... Very well. Everything has been uh, properly filed. I have no reason to question the order of execution. Even threatened me with dismissal and worse, should I stand in the way of their orders. They don't know me very well. Threats mean nothing. Proper paperwork, on the other hand. Well, I will simply have to <clears throat> accept that my questions will remain forever unanswered. Well, I shall see you at first light, Alvani. The noose will be ready for you. time. Come on, let's go. What's... No time for answers. Let's get a move on. What's going on down there? That boy is a major order riot. We're getting you out of here. Who are you? Do I know you? I bloody well hope so. You were this close to running me through with your sword. What? A swamp city? Precisely. Where I made a daring, swashbuckling last-minute escape, and you were arrested by your own commander. Quite a day, eh? If you're with the Resistance, why are you helping me escape? So that you can repay your debt and help free our city. In the meantime, we need a bloody key to get through this bloody gate. Hey! Hey! Help me! Collaborators! Turn coat! Fuck you, traitor! He looks badly hurt. I don't think he'll survive long. But we can't... He might know how to get out of here. I don't think he'll make it, but... If he can help us, his death won't be in vain. Do you know how to get through that gate? The guard. He, <coughs> he... He has a key in his pocket. There's nothing more I can do for him. He is already dead. There must be something we can do for him. Anything. I can't save his life, but perhaps he has some last wish that I can fulfill. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything at all? My... <coughs> my family tell them tell them what happened to me tell them I love them very much and that <coughs> my children 
Tell them they make me proud. I have to promise. I have to fulfill this man's dying wish, no matter what. I promise. They live in the bones. My name is Stunt. Arn Stunt. Thank you. Please. <coughs> Please finish me before the cards find me. There's nothing they more to be done right. for him. They will make... <coughs> they will make me suffer. He wants me to put him out of his misery before the guards arrive. He's alive. But not... I can kill him swiftly. A warrior's death. Or leave him for the guards to torture. He can't walk. All we can do is leave him here. He's alive. But not for long. It appears to be a gate key. It probably unlocks this first gate. Kill me. Please. Kill me. Please. Please kill me. If I don't kill him now, the guards will. But not before they make him suffer. I cannot leave him to such a gruesome fate. May the goddess ease your journey into the next life. He's with the goddess now, walking the sun-blessed slopes of the first mountain. It had to be done, Kian. You made the right choice. You have the key? Excellent. What's going on out there? Huh. Wish I knew. Jazadi are entrenched. They're up to something. There ain't been a lot of new troops arriving. But then again, they've stopped pushing north. They only appear interested in holding the city. Sire and Vermon are still in charge. Oh, uh, they're in charge, all right. But rumors say one of the bloody six is arriving soon. Which is why we need to be ready. Something's about to go down. What are my people really doing here in Mercuria? You tell me, boy. They are your people. I... do not know. I thought I did, but I was wrong. It's not about faith, it's about... something else. What they have planned, I do not believe it is the divine will of the goddess. More the unholy will of a gaggle of rotten mortal eggs. Has the resistance been inside the tower? Not yet. That's where you come in, boy. You're our key to the tower. That tower is a fortress. How in the name of the goddess do you expect me to find a way inside? We'll see. Maybe you'll rise to the occasion, huh? Show no mercy, man. Is that why you're breaking me out of here? To find a way into the tower? Well, that's part of it, aye. But not all of it. You're a bloody symbol, boy. Once we've got you on our side, It'll give the boys a big, um, what's it, boost. It will increase morale? Ha! Fat chance of that. There'll always be a bunch of booze and thieving, whoring, cursing him. Morale. As in confidence. Spirit. Well, that's it. A boost to the team spirit, innit? You arriving? You'll be the flag bearer. The bloody drummer boy. But getting into that Mojo blasted tower, aye, that's a big part of it. About the tower... Let's focus on getting you out of here first, boy. We must have a plan for what comes next. He will we will need a key to open this gate. We will need a key to open this gate. We will need a key to open this gate. They have different keys for every floor, so you might as well leave that one in the lock. Follow me, boy. We're going up, not down. Up. 
Upwards. Ever upwards. Down there, you'll only find fiery death. The way out of here is up, up, up. What did you mean, repay a debt? You damn near wiped us out, boy. Your last minute reversal didn't help save anyone, aside from your own soul, mayhap. And now is your chance at repentance. I don't want repentance. I'm ready to die for my crimes. Why don't you just leave me here? You may be ready to die, Kian, but the resistance certainly isn't. And we need you. Now. The riot is growing, moving closer. We need to keep moving up, find a way out before the keep becomes smoking rubble. Locked. The riot hasn't reached this floor yet. So many barrels. Do they never clean up after themselves? The slop we eat three times a day arrives in these barrels. The stench about the tower. Let's focus on getting you out of here first, boy. Anyone there? I'm speaking into a metal tube. I feel foolish. I'll need to pick the lock. Shadow be damned! It broke. The blade worked better as a weapon than a lockpick. It's a speaking tube. About the... Let's focus on getting you... The slop we eat three times a day arrives in these barrels. The stench makes me sick. The guards use this to communicate between floors and with the guard room downstairs. Not everyone in here is a wrongly convicted rebel. Some are violent murderers. I won't risk it. Most of the prisoners are still under lock and key.
There he is, up there. Shadow, damn that man! The keep is surrounded by soldiers, mostly Azadi troops, it looks like. Good bowmen. I'm lucky I dodged their arrows. Most of the prisoners are still under lock and key. Locked. And I don't have time to pick each and every cell door. About let's for Where's the key? Someone get the dogs down keys. I'll need to pick the lock. There's no way past that. They lack finesse and they're not trained soldiers, but if those guards catch up with us, we won't last long regardless. Hello? So many barrels. The slop we eat three times a day arrives in these barrels. The stench makes me sick. Locked. The riot hasn't reached this floor yet. Where's the key? Someone get the dogs down keys. I have no time to spare, and no desire to let all these prisoners loose. It's the Apostle! Get him! He got away! This is tempting fate. Sooner or later, one of those arrows will pierce my skull.
Locked. The riot hasn't reached this floor yet. Not everyone in here is a wrongly convicted rebel. Some are violent murderers. I won't risk it. Him. I think we got him. Right. It's undamaged and thin enough to fit in a lock. I should be able to open the gate with this. That ought to do the trick. Go on, pick the lock. I need to arrow. pick the lock. You do know how to pick a lock, don't you, assassin? Good job. Follow me. All those years on the streets of Sadia paying off. Our old friend, Mr. Murren. Balse back him. I should have known you wouldn't have let yourself get caught so easily. You're damn right. Now let us through. I'm afraid that's uh, quite impossible, Balse. Your journey ends here, I'm afraid. There's no pick in this one. He's plugged it from his side. By the Mojau's unclean genitals, Warden. Open up right this bloody minute! Words, 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 Mr. Backy. You know very well I do not respond to threats. When I get my hands on you, Warden, you will wish your grandmother had never spread her legs to your grandfather. I'm afraid this is uh, <clears throat> as far as you will get. People, your prisoners are revolting, Warden. Sooner or later, they will reach this floor. Let me through. And I shall be lenient and merciful. I see. And what, pray tell, is my guarantee that you'll follow through on your <clears throat> promise? Doesn't the... My leniency is your only hope at this point. Hmm, perhaps. But as you may imagine, I didn't rise to my position by taking people at their word. Particularly in a prison. Honesty is in <clears throat> short supply in here. He may treasure his office above his blood, but maybe he will listen to reason if I appeal to his sense of family. If he fails to respond to threats to his own life, maybe he'll listen if I threaten his children. All men of his station can be bought. 
If I offer to buy him, I'm sure he will be swayed. Filthy maggot that he is. We're running out of time. And this filthy heathen is the only thing between us and freedom. He may. If not for yourself, then do this for your family. Hmm. My family is important to me. I would not want my boys to grow up without a father. Their mother <clears throat> lacks the moral fortitude needed to instill duty and backbone in them. Let's forgive her. She's a good woman, but merely a woman. Very well, you make a fair point. I will trust you despite my better instincts. Step back, Albani. Praise your gods, I don't have time for you now, Murren. But your day will come. He doesn't look well at all, seeing his world fall to pieces. I almost You gave me man. your word, Alvani. Your word? You said I would not be harmed. You said you would let me live. Does that not count? You will receive your just punishment soon enough. <coughs> Perhaps so, Alvani, but at least my punishment... At least my punishment will be at the hands of those who respect laws and regulations. This Enough. is as far as the stairwell will take us. Bill, now we need to find a way like to yourself. I didn't say I wanted to leave this place. What part of to be executed in the morning did you not get? And what part of the resistance needs you did you fail to comprehend? Why would your people trust me? I am their enemy. Huh. You were the enemy. I trust your allegiance to your people has diminished somewhat in the past year. How do you know I won't just turn on you soon as we're out of here? Oh, I know, and others do too. Our faith is rarely misplaced. This passage leads up to the roof, but the gate's twice locked. There's no getting through. We need to find another way up. I got you this far, Kian. Now you need to put that Azadi brain of yours to work, and quick. So many barrels. Do they never clean up after them? Shadow be damned. The guards are getting closer. They're not far behind us. That chain goes up to the mechanism that raises and lowers the cage. It's covered in thick oil. We don't have much time. I feel a kinship with that lonely flickering flame. I draw the line at licking the plate clean. I'm hungry for red meat. But I'm not a dog. Shadow. I need a stronger flame to light this torch. It's mounted securely to the wall. I'd burn my skin off if I tried to wrench it free. These torches burn day and night. There's no other light in this accursed... There's no way through here. The slop we eat three times a day arrives in these barrels. The stench makes me sick. Where's the kid? 
It's a speaking tube. I draw the line at licking the plate clean. I'm hungry for red meat. A candle loses nothing snuffed out by my carelessness. Like so many innocents. The iron bars are making it hard to get a clear shot. But I shouldn't tempt fate. So many barrels. Do they never clean up after themselves? Where's the key? Don't get the ghost out, keys! I'm curious to see where this is going. is burning off. Oh, clever boy. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Still warm, but it's cooling quickly. I should be able to climb the chain now. Well, you first. If that chain's still hot, I want some warning. They've raided the noose for you. A traitor's death. What are we doing here? Where's our cloud ship? We need to buy ourselves some time. Quick, block that gate. Use the lever to lower the bar. Quickly now. For the love of Mojal's seven prostitutes, Kian, lower that damned bar now! They're here! What are we doing here? Where's our cloud ship? We need to buy ourselves some time. Quick, block that gate. Use the lever to lower the... Good. Now arm yourself. It's excellent quality. A good headsman can take someone's life with one swing of this. There's a sword over there. Come over here now. Bolted. It should hold for a little while. By the Mojas bloated testes, stop fucking about and get your ass over here, boy! How will we escape? I thought you'd have a ship waiting. A ship? <laughs> no, boy. Your way out of here is not on a cloud ship, but through a portal created by the very magic your people are trying to stamp out. My way. Only one of us can pass through that portal before it closes. And it requires a sacrifice. It's dark magic. It requires blood and pain. It requires a life. What? No. No! I cannot accept your sacrifice. Either both of us leave or neither. Don't be a mojo, damned fool boy. I have made my peace with the gods. Will you say the same? Besides, I may be a decent fighter, but you... Without you, the resistance will falter, and the Azadi will be victorious. Now run me through with that sword so that you can get out of here and start paying your debts. How many more deaths before this night is over? No. There's been enough bloodshed. I don't want his eyes speak the truth. He has embraced death in a way I never could. Goddess, forgive me. Slow and steady, boy. Blood and pain for the portal.
have only one memory of my mother. She held me to her heart until I fell asleep. That night, she threw herself from the city walls into the shallows. Her body was never found. For the longest time, I would climb those shallows, balance on the edge, and close my eyes. I always thought I would join her in the darkness, in that cold, cold sea. But I never did. <laughs> 